Welcome to Colder Vlog. In this video, I will implement fingerprint authentication in Android Studio. So uh, nowadays, fingerprint is highly used for securely login and transaction, any type of transaction. As you know that fingerprint authentication take uh, only one second for doing any specific action. So with the fingerprint, uh, you can easily securely log in and do any transaction within one second with only one finger. So that's why it is highly used uh, nowadays and it is highly secured than other methods. Okay, so first of all, I want to show you my output demo so you can get the uh, understanding of my app. So this is very basic app okay very basic app just for uh, giving uh, giving you understanding of how fingerprint authentication works okay so let's play it so first it asked me uh, for the fingerprint so when I uh, give a right fingerprint then it will successfully log in but for now I will add a wrong uh, finger so it give me error that fingerprint authentication failed now I will give the right finger to login securely so as you see when I give the right finger so it login successfully and this is a very secure way and very easily you can log in and you can do transaction uh, without adding your email address and password and that long stuff okay so so it improves user experience so in the Android there are some few limitation uh, in order to use uh, the fingerprint authentication first of all you must have fingerprint sensor in your device the second is that you must at least register one fingerprint in your device through setting if you did not register any fingerprint uh, in your device so it will not work okay okay the uh, point number three is that uh, it is supported in the uh, marshmallow and above API level okay so below the marshmallow uh, it will not be supported and the last one is that you cannot uh, store the fingerprint in your database and you cannot update that okay once the fingerprint is enrolled and registered in a system okay so this is because for security reason you cannot save any person fingerprint in database so it is good for security uh, that's why so in the website uh, in my website which is available in the link in description uh, it contain a whole source code how you will implement the uh, the same app I implement uh, with the fingerprint authentication feature function so you can get the code from my website and you can also read the details uh, from this website okay which will be available in the website so every single detail is mentioned so you need to visit to this website and you need to copy and paste that code in your empty project and take the advantage of my code and enjoy okay it will save your time and you can download it from this link so thank you for watching the video and I hope you will like the video yeah and if you want to you can uh, suggest me any topic any subject so I will create video on that topic on that uh, particular subject okay so for now I will say bye bye and see you in the next video